All water is not the same, and it's easy to confuse stormwater with other types of water. When it comes to the stormwater management system, we are only dealing with the kind of water that falls from the sky when it rains. Stormwater is sometimes confused with drinking water as they both appear on the same utility bill. Stormwater can also be confused with wastewater that is flushed down the drain. The stormwater management system is intended to reduce the frequency and severity of stormwater related flooding which occurs when rainwater flows into a house through a window well or a door or when streets become impassable. The stormwater management system does not address basement flooding caused by some pumps that fail or flooding caused by sanitary sewer drains that are clogged. When it rains, the water has to go somewhere. Some water soaks into the ground and the rest flows from impervious areas like roofs and driveways. This water is referred to as runoff. During periods of heavy or prolonged rain, significant runoff is generated and may cause flooding. All properties generate runoff and benefit from the stormwater management system. To reduce the risk of stormwater flooding in buildings, yards, and roads, stormwater needs to be managed. Runoff should be carried by ditches and sewers into creeks. During major rain events, stormwater should be stored in detention areas and wetlands that hold and slow the flow of runoff. Keeping stormwater runoff out of houses and buildings means building and maintaining a stormwater management system that effectively carries runoff to the village's creeks. The village's stormwater management system is extremely large. It consists of 12 miles of creeks, 475 stormwater detention facilities, 130 miles of storm sewers, 47,000 feet of culverts, 140 miles of ditches, and 7,000 drainage structures. Some portions are modern and function well. Some portions are decades old, are undersized, and don't meet modern regulations. The entire system needs to be maintained for it to continue to function properly. There is no stormwater management system in the world that prevents all flooding. No matter how big it is or how well it's maintained, there will always be a rain event that generates more runoff than the system can handle. However, the stormwater management system can be improved to reduce the frequency and severity of stormwater flooding. The village has constructed over 50 stormwater capital improvement projects since 2008. In all, about $30 million have been invested for these improvements. Projects have been constructed all over the village in the areas where flooding was frequent and severe. All of the projects have been successful and all of them have reduced the frequency and severity of flooding. The village's stormwater management system is extremely large. Like all systems, it must be properly maintained to reduce the likelihood of flooding. Maintenance includes recurring activities such as street sweeping, clearing debris from inlets, regrading ditches that have filled in, and stabilizing stream banks. It also includes less frequent activities, like replacing collapsed storm sewers. The village's stormwater management system is extremely large. Like all systems, it must be properly maintained to reduce the likelihood of flooding. Storm sewers and streams can become clogged with debris, and culverts and pipes can collapse. In 2015, the village spent about $2 million maintaining the stormwater management system. But that's not enough. Additional maintenance is needed to meet industry standards. Measuring the effectiveness of a stormwater management system can be difficult. A rain event can range from a light drizzle to a downpour. It can rain heavily for a few minutes or for several hours straight. 
The stormwater management system should prevent flooding in all but the most extreme rain events. No stormwater management system can prevent flooding in all rain events. The effectiveness of a stormwater management system can be measured in terms of the percentage of storms in which runoff is safely stored and conveyed. No stormwater management system can prevent flooding in all rain events. A stormwater management system should safely store and convey runoff for all of the properties it serves in most rain events. The village has a plan to upgrade our system to a recommended level of service of safely storing and conveying runoff for all properties in the village in 95% of the rain events. At this recommended level, some flooding would occur only during extreme rain events. The village's goal is to create and maintain a stormwater management system that safely stores and conveys runoff for all properties in 95% of the rain events. The village's system currently performs at a high level but falls short of the recommended service level. About 10% of the properties in the village are not served at the recommended level. Many of these properties experience flooding in moderate rain events. To address the 10% of the properties that do not currently receive the recommended level of service, the village must maintain the existing system and expand its capacity by constructing new capital improvement projects. Improvement projects are planned for construction in areas that experience severe and or frequent flooding. The village has identified 22 projects to be constructed in the next eight to 10 years at a cost of about $42 million. The village's stormwater management system is extremely large. Like all systems, it must be properly maintained to reduce the likelihood of flooding. In 2015, the village spent about $2 million maintaining the stormwater system. But that's not enough. To meet the recommended level of service, the village must spend about $4 million per year maintaining the system, about twice as much as we currently spend. In 2013, the village created a stormwater utility to pay for all costs of constructing and maintaining the stormwater management system. It is funded nearly entirely from monthly fees based on the amount of impervious area on each property. Additional funding comes from grants and fees paid by real estate developers. No money from property taxes is used to pay for the stormwater management system. In the village's stormwater utility, monthly fees are based on the amount of impervious area located on each property. All properties except those exempt from property taxes, such as churches, pay stormwater fees. The typical property with a single family house has about 3,300 square feet of impervious area. The monthly fee for a typical house is $9.72. This is under $117 per year. In 2016, the total amount of revenue generated from stormwater fees is estimated to be $3.7 million. The village uses this revenue exclusively for the stormwater management system. About $1.1 million is used to make payments on the bonds that were used to construct over 50 stormwater management projects. About $2 million is used for maintenance activities and the remainder is used for new capital improvement projects. The village developed a plan for bringing the stormwater management system up to the recommended level of service. The plan spans over 15 years and calls for an increase in the amount of maintenance activities completed each year and the construction of 22 capital projects in the next eight to 10 years. It includes regular increases to the fees of about 8.7% per year. For 2017, 
The Village Council has estimated that the budget for stormwater revenue will be $3.9 million. This is consistent with the plan. The Village's stormwater management system currently performs at a high level. However, it falls short of the recommended service level. If the Village wants to achieve the recommended level of service immediately, it would have to double the amount of revenue currently being generated by stormwater fees. Over $7.5 million would be required to achieve the recommended level of service now. All properties, except those that are exempt from property taxes, pay monthly stormwater fees. This includes residential, commercial, and industrial properties. Residential properties pay 52% of the total fees collected. Commercial properties pay 39% and industrial properties 9%. You can learn more about stormwater in the Stormwater Utility Report.